Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Good morning ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Deacon and welcome to my incredible podcast! Now before we commence this episode, do not forget to Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys and your fat ass families, follow me on Instagram, smash that bell notification button, and of course as always, please sit back and enjoy! Let's get started. Our top story for today shall be why I have quit dating apps. Now before we begin, I shall make this clear. I shall speak from personal experience and I have been inspired, or should I say educated, by Coach Greg Adams, the author of De-Evolution and Free Agent Lifestyle. He was the one man that I came across a long time ago that was able to explain to me step by step why dating apps do not work at all in today's time. Step by step, easy as one, two, three. So with that said, ladies and gents, let's just dive right into it. Let's commence. Now, generally speaking, which means not all females, but at least 90% of modern American females are simply frustrated and lost. And I'm quoting that statistic from Coach Greg Adams. These females do not know what they want at all. Matter of fact, what these females will do is that they will attempt to paint a beautiful fairy tale picture and try to sell to you a bullshit story that says that, oh yeah, we're doing fine. Our lives are under control. We know what we want, and we know what we don't want. These females will have the audacity to come up here and claim that they know what they want, and they know what they don't want. Gentlemen, that is 100% bullshit, Mm. because if you could take the time to look at her situation from a different light, from a different perspective, I promise you, you will notice shiny red flags right off the bat. In any female's case, a red flag can be anything. It can be cats, like most certainly cats, walking and jumping and running from one side of her apartment complex to the other side, Uh, stashes of cat food stuffed in her kitchen cabinets, dry cat food crumbs all over the damn floor or on the damn sofa, uh, she's living alone with uh, box wine and chocolate in the uh, on the kitchen counter. Another red flag can most certainly be if she is what we describe as a career female. The female that brags about making a six-figure income but complains and bitches about the fact that she is single just because so I can focus on my career, or at least that's how the meme goes. <laughs> That's a bloody red flag. Like, all of these red flags that I just mentioned are clear signs that indicate that most modern American females are stressed out beyond the limit because they don't have what they need or want. On top of that, we have all seen the marriage rates plummeting and divorce rates skyrocketing exponentially. More and more wives are taking their husbands to... Uh, family court or should I say divorce court so that they can flip their husbands upside down and shake them up and down so that they can take all the money the husbands have so I I think I'm getting sidetracked but we'll get to that subject another day anyway these modern American females that are using these dating apps are so delusional that they think they're entitled to have this fantasy man, this Prince Charming, the man that these females have been craving and dreaming to have for a long time. Now, they may claim that they want a strong man, or should I say a strong masculine man. However, during today's time, there are not too many strong masculine men out there. And even those that are truly strong alphas, they're choosing to not put up with any female's bullshit because it involves a lot of unnecessary red flag risks that will cost these men a lot. Meanwhile, these females are choosing to not put anything to the table. With that said, one clear sign that signifies that these females are lost in a time warp is the fact that they're on these dating apps looking for their Prince Charming, aka their fantasy man, their future boyfriend or future husband. To these females, it's almost as if they're ordering a product off of a menu. And I mean that literally. 
As soon as they're given a menu, they'll start saying things like, Oh, that's my favorite. No, girl, don't get that one. Get this one. Don't get that one. That one sucks. I will get this one. They'll say bullshit like that. While these females are in the process of finding their dream man, they will ride the cock carousel with the Chads and the Brads and the Tyrones even long after they reach their expiration date until the time will come when these females will stop because they got burnt and road killed way too many times by the alphas. All right, in that moment, they will start to realize and literally let that realization kick in that this Prince Charming fantasy has been a myth all this time. It's a fake fairy tale that never existed in the first place. The dream man that they've always dreamt of, they never, it never existed. That is the moment when this realization will start kicking in, no matter how painful it is. In addition to that, these females start becoming desperate because they want and need to settle down quick. Because she's noticing that her biological clock is going tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. So with that said, this will cause these females to lower their standards and their expectations so that they can settle down with a beta male. All right. After getting burnt and tossed aside by the alpha males, now they want to settle down quick. Be because by the time she figures out that this fantasy has been a myth the whole time, it's going to be too late. So, gentlemen, ask yourself this one question. What kind of value do these females bring to the table? All these females do is they just take pictures of only themselves and put them up on social media, which is what I consider uh, legal prostitution because they're prostituting themselves to get free attention and free validation from tons of beta males that are thirsty for some peace leave, okay? All of these females' ages range from their 20s all the way up to their 40s, some of them in their 50s. As a female in her 20s, she could be an absolute shy introvert. It doesn't matter, all right? She could be shy as hell. It don't matter. As long as she is somewhat attractive, like average, and starts putting on cute dresses, skirts, and heels, she will have tons of options to choose from. Even an average female will have tons of beta males chasing after her, all right? She can ride the cock carousel for as long as she wants until she gets tired. Like, she can ride that carousel even after she passes her expiration date until she says, okay, now I want to settle. But by the time she figures it out, it'll be too late. Now, as a female that is no longer in her prime, I have a message for you. If you still believe that you have value without bringing anything to the table, then you are delusional. You are automatically disqualified from spending any time with any man. Gentlemen, I want you to seriously look at this situation from a different light and think very hard about the next question that I will ask you. Can you imagine going out with any of these females that you've never met, regardless of how physically attractive they are? You go out with the female you saw on an app and then she expects you to pay for the so-called date in full. You spend more time with her to the point where she finally gives you some peace leave. But then after that, she chooses to withhold that peace leave from you and then expects you to do more chores and more tasks. Can you imagine being with somebody like that? Like, think very hard about that question. She's not putting any effort and not putting anything to the table nothing so from the female's perspective she's using these dating apps to prostitute herself and once she gets tons of beta males chasing after her and hangs out with them one by one what does she do she dangles the carrot in front of their faces and she is intentionally making these beta males believe that they have a chance when they really don't she's leading them on the reality is that these Modern American females have more cards to play than us men in general in regards to dating apps. These apps favor these low-value, mediocre females far more than men. Another thing that matters significantly on dating apps are, and say it with me folks, looks. Looks. 
looks matter a lot to these females and fuck personality because that doesn't count as anything on these apps like it's impossible it is literally physically impossible to rate somebody's personality online when you haven't even met them uh, face to face for a second now these females that are on these apps they're looking for the alpha males that have the full package i.e six pack at least six feet tall muscular rich uh giant cock and so forth okay of course i am referring to the 80 20 rule now keep in mind because that we are living in this COVID era the 80 20 rule shall eventually transform into the 90 10 rule meaning the top 10 percent of alpha males can select and bank whoever they want on these apps therefore if you are not in the top 10 percent or even the 20 percent she will classify you as a beta male this means that you would have to jump through so many hoops and go through so many obstacles just to get a small crumb of her peace leaf in conclusion dating apps are simply a waste of time and money because remember gentlemen you are wasting two very important currencies of your life time and money money is the kind of currency that you can get back like every time you reach your payday you can get your money back however time no time is the kind of currency that you cannot and will not get back if you're wasting your time and money on these apps just because you're thirsty for some peace leaf i've got a message for you get the fuck off of these apps because they will drain the life out of you it is imperative that you withdraw from these apps which means uns unsubscribe and delete your account permanently just like most of you i used to be your typical beta male sucker a long time ago wasting my time and money on these apps because i was desperate to find at least one female that i can connect with so please stop making these unnecessary mistakes please so with all that said, this concludes this episode of my incredible podcast. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Do not forget to Hulk smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Share this with your boys and your fat ass families. Follow me on Instagram. Smash that bell notification button. And every single one of you, have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace out.